Hey guys, Saxdo26 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 2 on the Wily Wars. In the previous part, we defeated Bubble and Heatman. And with the Atomic Fire, we're now going to go take on Woodman. And with me today, I have a special guest. <gasps> what is this? Mega Man and 16 bit graphics? My 16 bit fantasy has come true. I am getting my soul. Yeah, bubble bats, bubble bats, bubble bats. Yay! Metal Blades also work well with uh, Woodman, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. And Air Shooter does too, actually. Hmm. Kill the Robo Rabbit and run, run, run from the Robo. If there's one thing I really didn't like about Wily Wars, and I did play this sometime recently, it's just how slow the Buster is. It's actually not that bad. I, I find it actually kind of makes it a little easier to control where the shots go. And it's not and much slower. So... Mm. And in some cases, the slowdown is worse than the NES games, which doesn't make any sense in my opinion, but... Well, that's the funny thing. I've been playing this on Gens 32, and I've been finding that it actually cut out the slowdown entirely. Also, hot dogs. You can actually prevent them from, like, warping in if you use the Time Flash. Hmm, yeah, but... I don't have Time Stopper, so... Hang on. That's right, I need to get... Down here, whoop! Not a, not a really big fan of the Genesis sound chip, to be honest, unless it's, like, Sonic, but there are a few tracks that I did, like, from Wily Wars, where specifically... Uh, Wily Stage 2 from the Wily Powers. Hmm. Why is this music so very happy? Well, actually, personally, I kind of like the overall soundtrack of Wily Wars a bit more than the NES. That That's just me personally. I mean, an example, a lot of people I know really hate Metal Man's theme in Wily Wars. I honestly like it more than the NES version. Mm, nostalgia. NES nostalgia. That's all I have to say. That and they probably didn't grow up with this version because this only came out in Europe, Australia, I think. Uh, it, well, I think Europe Whoops. is the PAL region, right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, PAL region is Japan. I have no idea why it didn't come to North America, but yeah. Which means I can tell. Yes, I can. That's the air shooter. Which means I can totally go out of my way and just get the get the game in English if I wanted to, but that doesn't really matter. I can just play a game, a Mega Man game in Japanese and not care about it, because what is the plot of Mega Man ever actually been important? <laughs> Except for Mega Man Zero, but that is besides the point. Anyways, this is the Atomic Fire. Essentially, the charge shot before the charge shot. Bippies! Problem is, it burns the ammo so damn fast you don't find much use for it. Uh, pretty good. There's one particular part of Wily 3 or 4 that I find is fairly handy for it. Simply because the Sniper Joes don't give you too much room to maneuver. It well, I didn't say it was entirely useless. I mean, that's about the only thing I could think of using it for. I did the same thing in my LP, so... You are becoming a nuisance. You are also becoming a nuisance. Go away. There. And this, I use Robot Master this Weapons. Sue me. me. This, this screen right here is like practically built for the metal blade, so I just go to town with it. Yeah, okay, that's one down. And then for some reason, I love using the bubble lid here. So, what is your overall opinion of Mega Man 2 in comparison to the others, guys? Personally, I find it overrated, but. I like it. Atomic Chickens! I like it, but I think the difficulty is probably the only thing I don't like about it. Yeah. Well, to be fair... I mean, it introduced a lot of really good things, but at the same time... I don't consider... There is no way I could consider... It is not the peak uh, like everybody says it is, in my the opinion. The track through it is a little bit painful. Four reached that limit for me, but... Yeah, that's just me. Look at this! Woodman fight with no slowdown. I love you, Gens32. And the fleet shield's easier to jump over. Yay. Yes, because it doesn't, you know, matrix. 
So yeah, no, taking on Woodman with the Mega Buster isn't too difficult, provided you don't get hit too much. Are you doing a Buster run? No, I I'm trying to beat um, the Robot Masters with the Mega Buster first, provided it goes swimmingly-ish. Whoa, whoa! No, that's what I meant. You should, I mean... I mean, you got the gist of them down. Just need to be able to do it, pull it off more often. The, hey, the thing I hate about Woodman's fight is always trying to get under him and go around when he comes to the end of the room. Mm. Now, how am I for atomic fire? Okay, that's not enough to get a full charge out on him, so I'm going to take him on with the air shooter instead. Yeah, you, you, you actually kill him off even when he's got the shield on. Just run up to him and try it out. What? Air shooter. Ouch. Or it actually doesn't do as much damage as it does in the NES version. Odd. But it's still doing enough to be called a weakness, so yeah. There we go. Woodman is down! Oh my god! So powerful! It's a stamp! A stamp of wood! Yeah! <laughs> So with that, we get the first of the shield weapons, the Leaf Shield. Uh, I don't know, would, would Atomic Fire qualify as a shield weapon? No, oh, oh, you mean the, um, the Firestorm. Or the Firestorm, whatever it's called, yeah. Atomic Fire is the charge shot, Wood. Okay, so, Woodman's Leaf Shield is the weakness of Airman, but since we beat him in the first episode, we'll go after the Robot Master that's weak to the Air Shooter, Crash Man. I actually kind of like Crash Man out of all of them. I think Crash Man's probably my favorite robot master from Mega Man 2. Uh, in terms of look or in terms of design? Uh, I think you kind of just said in terms of look or in terms of look. <laughs> you you meant stage uh, look, design, yes? Look is, look is just the overall theme of them and, and just, well, the look. The design, I mean, it's like how his fight plays out. I actually would say both. I kind I, I like Crash Man, but mainly for the same reasons I like Bomb Man in Mega Man 1. He's a fairly underrated robot master, and his stage just has this weird charm to it. It makes no sense with all of these... everything that's going on having nothing to do with explosions whatsoever. But well, honestly, I, I think Crash Man's music is probably my favorite robot master uh, music from this game. In fact, this... It's my f second favorite track in Mega Man 2 next to the ending credits, so, yeah. That's ah. right, punks! I said it's better than Wily Stage 1 and 2. Ah! But yeah. Send your death threats now. <laughs> also, is it me or did the tellies look like they're directly out of the 8-bit game? It's like they didn't know modifications to them whatsoever. Oh, oh well, they shaded them. <laughs> That's something! <laughs> Kinda. It's funny because when I go through Crash Man's stage, all of the orb things and pipes in the side, while it does remind me of sort of the pipe screensaver from mm, Windows XP, it also sort of brings back vibes from the Bomb Man stage with the whole ball buildings, this totally isn't Capsule Corporation kind of thing. I never could figure out where the hell Bomb Man stage was at anyway. West City in Dragon Ball Z, totally. So. This is the Leaf Shield. Uh, it's okay if you're doing it for stuff like this. Like if you're standing on floating platforms or on ladders, try just trying to get PPs out of the way. Other than that, it's kind of useless. I went the wrong way. What? What? So yes. It's a mortal enemy of the Leaf Shield. PPs and moles. So once you've got the Leaf Shield, you can deal with both very easily. In my opinion, the best uh, shield weapon out of all the games. <laughs> I'm is... not up oh, to the God. next. <laughs> that was interesting. And... Um, take out this crazy cannon. But yeah, I think the best shield I weapon would probably be the one from nine. The, the dual satellite, yeah. So broken. And the... the dual satellite is fantastic. You take. Yeah, what a... And then the worst one was the skull shield from four. Sadly, as much as I love the game to death, skull shield was just. Skull Barrier was alright. 
But anyway. It wasn't bad, but in comparison to the other shield items, it doesn't do much of it. doesn't really do as much as the others. Mm. So yes, abusing item one because I can and haven't shown it off yet. Time for Crash Man! Just like Bomb Man, his pattern is easy. It seems to be a running thing with explosive robot master work. Robot Masters, how hilarious. Basically, every time you shoot, he jumps. When he jumps, he'll fire off one crash bomb. Well, I don't know, were, were there any other explosive type Robot Masters in the series? Other than they Uh... The one in Ian 3, can't really think if there were any in 4. There was Grenade Man in Mega Man 8. Yeah, they are, yeah, you're right, they all seem to love jumping around for some reason. Strange, isn't it? A rather time consuming fight, but once you learn this pattern, it pretty much becomes about as straightforward as you can get without being Fireman. <laughs> what? Fireman was a lot easier in Warrior Tours, wasn't it? Uh, he's just. Actually, he. So. He has a very abusable pattern in both, so I'd actually say he's equally easy in both. Uh, if you're doing a perfect run with him, he's a nightmare. But, uh, I mean, uh, there's, a cer there's a certain way of figuring out his pattern where you can avoid getting damage. Mm. But it's very hard to exploit. Basically, you shoot and jump at the same time. I know the one you mean. Wily was all you really need to do is jump and shoot, jump and shoot. Is a jump and shoot, man. And this, how did I think of it? I'm looking at the one from Wy uh, from Doctor Wily's Revenge. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! So with that, we get the crush bar. Where he just sort of stood in place and just shot fire waves all day and didn't really change up his strategy at all. <laughs> Unless he moved, but. But I don't think we really have much time to squeeze in another boss for this episode, so I think we're going to call well, it. Well, actually, here. Flashman stage is pretty short. No, no, I'm not going to be able to do it. No! Next time, next time on Let's Play Mega Man 2 on the Wily Wars, we'll be taking out the last two robot masters. Till then, this has been Saxo26. Good night, World. See you next time.